everybody, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to show you how to calculate a sample variance and standard deviation using Excel. So we asked 50 people, 50 randomly selected people, how often do you use an ATM every year? And what you see in front of you were their responses. We're going to take that data, enter it into a single column in Excel, and then let the function argument in Excel calculate this for us. So here I am in Excel and I have all of my values in a single column. And remember that Excel is going to output your, uh, the result of this function into whatever cell you have highlighted. So I've highlighted this one and I'm actually going to type in, whoops, sorry about that, standard deviation. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type in variance. So I'm going to do variance first, and I'm going to use this insert function. And so I can select the category of statistical and then look through the whole list, or I could type a brief description and I can say variance. When I say variance, I'll say go. It'll give me a bunch of options, but what I'm after is this var.s. It's important that you select the .s because that is going to estimate the variance based on sample data. And so I'm going to say OK. Now I want to know where is my data, and so I have one of two ways of putting this in. I can simply click on my first cell and then drag all the way down, which isn't bad because I only have 50, right? or because I know that my data appears in cells A1 through, represented by the colon, A2. 50, I can simply um, hard enter that, and then I'm going to say OK. And now you'll see it calculated my variance as 274.4473. Now I'm going to do the standard deviation. So I'm going to go back to my insert function. Here I'm going to type in standard deviation. I'm going to hit go. I'm going to come down. I'm going to find standard deviation dot s, right, which is telling us that it's the sample standard deviation. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to want to know the same thing. Remember, my data was in A1 colon A50, and then I'm going to hit OK. And it calculates my standard deviation as 16.56645. So, not too tough. As always, I hope that you found this video useful, and thanks for watching.